All right, coming up on the last stretch of the run, level 21, near your ring. Um, this level actually has no yellow key and a way to skip the blue key, so we are only going to be grabbing the red key. Uh, this level is also the last guided missile uh, sequence break and also the last key bot. So last time you have to deal with one of those pesky mine layers darting all over the place with the key. Um, anyway, let's uh, go ahead and get started here. So, you're going to want to select guided missiles right away. You're just going to fly straight forward into here, kill this spider and any spawns it might produce. That's a... There's a few new enemy types, those spiders and those spawns are a new one. Uh, the spawns, essentially the red hornets, but a little bit tankier and a little bit more damaging. Uh, they can be a little annoying to hit, so hopefully uh, you get lucky on the spider. Spiders um, have concussion missile systems, which do a lot of damage, a lot of splash damage. So you um, don't want to underestimate them, but they drop a random amount of spawns. The number can be zero, but it can also be, I think, up to three or four. So hopefully you get lucky and you get a low count here. But anyway, you're going to just kind of open this door, throw out a guide missile here, and send it up the shaft and try to get through the grate. Then over to that switch right there. So it's right in this little box here, at the, on the floor of it. Uh, that is the blue key, the area blocked by the blue key. You're intended to have the blue key to go in there and shoot that switch, but thanks to guided missiles, you can skip grabbing the blue key altogether, and that will lower the walls to the area with the red key bot. So we're going to go ahead and backpedal and head down and to the left, uh, respective to the spawn point. Um, now, as we move forward here, we're going to encounter the most dangerous of the new enemies introduced in the end game, uh, the boar's head. Boar's heads have plasma cannons and smart missile launchers. Those, um, unlike the Gauss Cannons of the Bulk Destroyers and the Helix Cannons of the Swindle Bots, those Smart Missiles are just as dangerous as your own. Eating a direct hit from a Smart Missile will usually mean death. And even if you dodge it, remember that payload of homing plasma uh, that'll come from the explosion that'll track in on you. It's actually the main source of damage, so watch out for that, watch out for that plasma payload. Uh, so as you come down here, there's going to be a spider here. And when you turn this corner right above you, right above us, uh, above us here, is going to be the first boar's head. You probably want to try and just take it out, just stun lock it immediately and take it out before it gets a smart missile off. Otherwise, you could take a ton of damage right here, maybe even a death. So, right there. Yeah, just like that. You want that thing out of your way as fast as possible. Any boar's heads along the way, they are extremely dangerous and you need to be careful with them. There's another one right down there. You can see it's just fired a, a smart missile. Yeah. Um, this one's kind of tucked into this nook here, so it's it's not as inherently dangerous as the first one, which you kind of have to approach a bit as you enter this little lobby area. But um, it can still give you some trouble and may be worth uh, taking out. Um, so... The red key bot is at the top of this shaft over here. Um, the only There's only two ways out of the shaft. One is through the door you're about to come in, and another one is the door leading to this blue door. Since bots respect the uh, doors players are allowed to open, they're not. Go uh, it's not going to go through the blue door. So um, I recommend as you come through this door, uh, this next door over here, leading into the shaft, that you lay some mines in case it tries to go out this way. Um, and in case you can't quite kill it quickly and it tries to leave this way. It also clears some of the diamond claws that are in this little ring area that we just passed through. Um, if they try to follow you, that'll, it'll clear them up as well. So definitely place some mines as you cross through this doorway and uh, just clog up this choke point a bit. So you're gonna, as you come into this tower, um, the red key bot is going to be at the top of the tower right there. If you open fire on it quickly enough uh, with the gloss, you might be able to get the jump jump, uh, get the jump get on it and take it out before it can activate and move. But if not, you're just going to have to kind of try and play with it. Okay, I got lucky there, and it ran right into me and dropped the red key right on my face. Um, but um, in case you do have to go up here, be mindful, there's a couple of diamond claws right here at the midway point. And at the top, there are two boar's heads. Um, so, 
be very careful if you have to go all the way to the top where the red key uh, bot was uh, started. Uh, you do not want to hit this panel. Um, it's not an absolute disaster if you do, but it opens up this grate that we just uh, shot the guided missile through at the start of the level um, that uh, walls off the blue door area. Um, that small area contains the thief bot for the level, and also, incidentally, the last thief bot in the entire rest of the game. So, um, if you don't shoot this switch to lower those grates, then you don't have to worry about a thief bot for the rest of the game from here on. But anyway, once you have the red key, you're just going to want to backtrack where you came from. Um, there are, I believe, a couple of boar's heads in here as well. Yep, there's one over there. Uh, they don't tend to give you trouble, as long as you don't go out of your way. But be mindful, in case they randomly get aggroed and move around, that there may be some boar's heads in this little uh, halfway room here as you're heading back towards the start of the level. So just uh, yeah, head back the way you came, through this passageway. Uh, and then, yeah, head up through here. Forward through, uh, yeah, back through the, the hallway we shot the guided missile from. And loop around down and behind you. Into this orange hallway. Then down, you can, uh, there's a loot guard here. With homing missiles. Actually, there's actually two of them. Uh, you can take them out if you like. Or you can just fly past them. There's also an Omega, uh, these bomb fish here. Um, you can just avoid them all if you like, but um, you can also play it safe and take them out. Uh, the Omega might drop some shields for you, too. And then you go through the red door here. Now, uh, come, thankfully, uh, very conveniently, you go th right through an energy center here to top yourself up. You may want to be switching to Helix Cannon as you come in here. Uh, and you want to try and just, as you're flying by, spray through that grate and try to open that, uh, try to hit that switch to open the grate to the exit door back here. There's a loot guard in the way. Uh, wouldn't, I wouldn't bother taking them out now, but if your shield is particularly low, uh, you could go in and take it out early so you don't have to worry about it on the escape. Because you really do not want to be taking a death exit at this point. Um, there's pretty much no helix cannons available uh, anywhere for the rest of the run. So... Want to make sure you're not dying on escape here. Um, usually, I just leave the loot guard uh, for the escape, though. And if I strafe past and spray at it and I don't hit the switch, no worries. We'll just open it once it's time to escape. Um, it's just a little bit of time save if you can get it on the way to the reactor. So kind of, kind of go uh, through these various ring rooms and eventually come up to the entry to the reactor room. It's guarded by a couple of spiders. Um, yeah, again, they drop a random amount of spawns on death, so be mindful of that. And we've got a blue guard and a spider in the reactor room as well. Uh, generally, you can just kind of ignore those. Fly here, use this wall on your right as cover against the spider and blue guard. Just kind of wiggle around, dodge the reactor attacks, and then head back. And yeah, be mindful of the E-bandits that are in here if you didn't take them out earlier. Uh, melee enemies, as always, can be a real nuisance and blockade you and uh, prevent you from moving where you want to move. And then you just exit from there. So let's go ahead and put that together real quick. So select guided missiles, take out the spider, nice no spawns. Apply the guided missile, got, got the switch taken care of. Let's get off the guided missiles. Take this force head out. Drop some mines there. Got the red key. Thankfully the bot didn't move at all. And yeah, diamond claws there can be a little bit of a nuisance. But there we go. Move through that room quickly since I did leave a, leave a boar's head intact in there. Don't want to be lingering. Loop around the loot guard here. Switch to Helix. Yep. Got hit with the E-Bandit a little bit, but nothing too bad. The spider's here and kind of shooting at me, but we are fine. E-Bandits are still around. Make sure we're not running into them. 
blue guard out of the way, and there we go. That's Neary Ring done. We'll be moving on to the uh, to level 22 Quadar, your next video.